Hi, Dan Cohn from Gear Diary here. Uh, spent the afternoon packing for the Scotty Vest No Baggage Challenge for Charity. Just a reminder, this No Baggage Challenge for Charity is benefiting the Haiti Plunge. Uh, please start off the year by supporting a, a great organization uh, and maybe a few others as well. Um, thank you to Scott for, for all of his generosity uh, as well. Um, spent the afternoon going through what I'm going to bring, what I'm not going to bring, went back and forth about the coats. Um, wanted to had a long description of what is not going and what's going but really just want to get down to the bottom line bottom line is this i'm using the evolution as a vest as a gadget bag i'm using the revolution as a bag for my clothing i am uh, bringing one extra pair of pants uh two or three extra shirts um extra underwear extra socks um, as little other stuff as I can. As far as gadgetry goes, MacBook Air is coming, even though it's an indulgence that I I really should not be bringing because it just adds so a lot of bulk, even though it's not that heavy. Samsung uh, Galaxy Tab, because it's the only way to more mobily uh, blog, uh, since the iPad won't let you do that. My iPhone wrapped in a Mofi Juice Pack Air and a Mofi external battery because we battery life is a huge issue. Bring in my iPod Touch as well, just as a video camera. My iPod Nano, because it's tiny, doesn't take up any weight, and I can use it for music without actually using up any of my battery life. I ended up picking up a Griffin dual USB wall charger so that I can charge two things at once and don't need to bring any other wall chargers except for the MacBook Air charger. And that's pretty, I'm looking around, that's pretty much everything I'm bringing. Wanted to bring my live scribe pen and and pad of paper. Um, just with a no baggage challenge, you need to make a lot of choices. And sometimes the choices aren't the ideal ones that you would make. Had to cut out a lot of stuff that I wanted to otherwise bring. Went through a couple of iterations about how to pack. Larry gave me a lot of help. Let's take a quick look at the gear that I didn't choose, the gear that I did choose, and then go through the packing process because we're ready for this no baggage challenge for charity. Starts tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Here we go. coming by way of technology. Um, the box for the MiFi, the charger for the MiFi, the Energizer because of the brick, only because of the brick. Um, extra cables that I might have brought otherwise. This because I can do it with two with the Griffin. I don't need the iPod uh, wall charger. I don't need the Samsung wall charger. Uh, this is the brick and of course, <laughs> my iPad doesn't get to come with me because it's a little bit too big. Steve Jobs, it's too big for travel. As much as it pains me to say this, Larry is right. It's a great portable device. It's not a mobile device in the same way that the tab is. What is coming with me? My 11 inch MacBook Air, total indulgence, but I can't see going to CS without a computer. The Samsung Galaxy Tab with this crown case case, nice and thin. The iPod Touch primarily for video because I don't know how well the battery on the iPhone is going to do. The Mophie uh, battery pack, nice and big, and the Mophie Juice Pack Air. The MiFi, which is going to be on T-Mobile for the week. The iPod Nano. The cable for the Mophie. The cable for the Samsung Tab. Two retractable cables. A wall charger that has two outlets. The wall brick for the computer. And if I have room, the live scribe pen. That's all the technology. It's actually quite a bit when you think about it, but it's a lot less than I would have been than I would have been taking if I weren't doing this challenge. Okay, let's talk about clothing for a second. I tend to overpack. Don't have that luxury now. So what am I bringing? Um, I, I read on one of the uh, the previous uh, um, no baggage challenges about slicks. Uh, slicks travel. Uh, it's underwear, undershirts, and socks. So I went out. Figuring I would trust this uh, this recommendation, and I will link to the post that talks about them. I bought four pair of Slicks socks. Super comfortable, very light, dry very quickly. Those are coming with me. Wearing one pair, carrying three pair, doing laundry every night. I'm bringing two pair of Slicks underwear and two, maybe three pair of Scotty Vest boxers. Again, all of them easy to clean, wash quickly, uh, dry overnight. I'm bringing my favorite 
shirt these days. I'm going to wear one of the Q vests, uh, one of the Q zips, not the Q vests, sorry, one of the Q zips, and I'm going to bring one. If I have room, maybe two, I doubt that I'm going to be able to, but definitely bring one, wear one. And I'm also going to bring one or two of the lightweight so shirts. I'm going to wear one of the Cargo Flex, and I'm going to bring one of the Cargo Flex. Um, wish I had room for a third pair of pants. Don't expect that I will. I think we're going to be tight as it is. Um, so wear one, bring one as well. Um, because of the wrist problems that I have, I need to bring at least two or three of my wrist braces um, just so that I can wash them. They're kind of thick so they're not going to dry nearly as quickly. Um, as far as shoes go, I would love to be able to wear a bunch of shoes, but I picked these up at CES last year because I discovered that I didn't bring the right kind of shoes. We're bringing these. They're Clarks. They walk. They're not all that nice, but they're comfortable and they do the job. Obviously, need to bring Woolite because I'm going to be doing laundry. So got to bring that. If I can, I'm going to bring some Gold Bond. Definitely want to bring a travel size uh, of antiperspirant. I'm going to be talking to people, so have a little Listerine. Travel size of toothpaste. Travel toothbrush. Medication. Got to bring my medication. That stays on me at all times. Uh, my travel documents. Need to bring those going to sort them down, only bring the essentials. Uh, probably going to bring a pair of sunglasses, also bring my regular glasses, and finally my wallet, um, which I'm using the flip side. Um, still don't like the blue, but it works really great, and it limits what I can carry. So um, that's, oh, then the final thing I need to bring, must bring, because you need it to, to get around, have to bring a ton of cards, probably the bulkiest extra that I'm bringing, but I don't have an option. So that's pretty much it. Toiletries there, the clothing I'm going to pack in a couple of minutes there, and the gadgetry over here. We're going to get packing in a couple of minutes, and we're going to see how this goes because I haven't tried it out yet. Here we go. All right, so I'm actually on the phone with Larry right now when we're doing this. Here are the pants. Here's an extra Q-zip. Socks. Underwear. And then some additional short sleeve shirts if I have room. So first thing, Larry already did this. We're actually effectively bringing the same thing. Okay, there's been a good bit of uh, trial and error here. And here's what we ended up with. Pants are right here. Socks and underwear here and here, Q-zip here, and then not the extra shirts I want to bring, but an extra shirt back here. That's pretty much everything, and um, it actually, it, it's kind of heavy, but but it's not bad at all, and certainly doable, and it's certainly uh, pretty much exactly what Larry and I talked about and exactly what Scott had recommended. So I've tried a couple of different ways of packing, and have really made some adjustments. So I just want to go through, um, I think what the final decision for the gear bag is going to be, um, because I really want to bring my MacBook Air. Um, it would probably be smart not to. Larry's just using the tab, but I, I don't know if I can go a whole week without that. So uh, I've got the tab, got my batteries, got my cables and charging, got some sundries, got some Gear Diary business cards, also, we'll have some Scotty West business cards. Listen, just so you all know, um, right now, if you look at the site, Gear Diary, there is a promotional code that uh, Scott and Scotty Vest have been kind enough to offer that will give you until the 15th of the month, 10% off of any purchase that you make. That includes the gorgeous leather jacket. I just got one as a gift and it's fabulous. And 10% of your purchase, not only will you save, but you'll also have that amount, same amount going to the Haiti Plunge as a donation. If you're at CES and you come up to Larry, Judy, or me, and you ask us about the No Baggage Challenge, we have a special oral promotional code that you can't publicize, but you can use for your purchase that'll get you 20% off plus 10% going to the Haiti Plunge. So we'll have those cards, and if you want it, just come up and talk to us. On my iPhone is the Mophie Juice Pack, iPod Touch, Power Brick, 
my glasses. Now, I was going to use the uh, Fleece 5.0, which is awesome and would be really, really good for um, for warmth. The problem I found was the pocket in the 5.0 is just too tight for the MacBook Air, even the 11 inch. So what I'm actually gonna do is take my Evolution, that's the jacket that the Revolution replaced, I took off the sleeves, I'm gonna use it just as a travel vest. That's been part of the process that both Larry and I have gone through, which is finding which pockets are the right pockets for what we want to do at any given time. Again, it's really an issue of making good choices, reevaluating your choices, figuring out exactly what you need, and then uh, cutting out more, which is what's been happening today. So, charger goes in there, now it's a little more flush, and we're good to go. So, now I've got the Evolution, it is carrying both the Tab and my MacBook Air, and I can still easily zip it up, um, fits really quite well actually, and then here's the Revolution, which is effectively my suitcase. And I can put that over, and it's a little bulky, but it's really not bad. The only reason, as Larry points out in his video, the reason that it's a little bit on the bulky side is that the pants are in this pocket here, and then the large pocket for the MacBook is here also. So you put those together, and what you end up with is, you know, a little bit of bulk, but actually really not bad at all. And this is all I'm going to be taking tomorrow when I head to the airport and go to CES in Las Vegas. So that's how you pack a Scotty Vest jacket or two for a no baggage challenge. I would uh, recommend watching Larry's video also. It's awesome. And he went through a lot of the same experiences that I just went through. He gave me a lot of good advice. It's been a lot of fun doing this together. Thank you to, uh, to Larry. Thank you to, to Judy uh, and everybody at Gear Diary for their support. And a special thank you to Scott and Scotty Vest as we embark upon this no baggage challenge for charity. Just a final reminder in this video, it's benefiting the Haiti Plunge, uh, a great cause, great people doing some really important work. Please encourage you, go check the link out, learn about them, and start off the year by giving a nice donation to them. Dan Cohn for Gear Diary, thanks for watching. Scotty Biston